2014 Cavs Media Day in the books. They are cleaning things up here at Cleveland Clinic Courts. We've had all kinds of coverage throughout the day on cleveland.com slash Cavs. Chris Fedor, Chris Haynes, Joe Varden back with you to wrap things up. And Joe, you wrote a story about LeBron James. He has mentioned since he came back to Cleveland that he is indeed a different guy. He was looking all business today, Joe. Yeah, it was like he was about ready to take the ball uh, for a, 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 game, a baseball game, like as he was the starting pitcher. I mean, he was that focused. Uh, he really showed a different side from what we had seen four years ago. He talked about his growth as a person. Uh, he talked about learning patience. And he talked about his desire to lead this team. He was, he was very forceful. The interesting thing, Chris, when you talk about LeBron James, there are very few basketball-related questions. It was about his weight loss. It was about the things that he learned during his time in Miami. Those kinds of things, I think, might be just as important. Everybody knows he's the best basketball player in the world. Yeah, no, and, and it's, it's, you know, they got to get back reacquainted with LeBron. You know, this is one of their guys from the area, so they want to know what he's been through over the last four years. And, and Braun, like you, you know, we, we talked about earlier, he transcends sports. You know, he, he's an he's a iconic figure. And so a lot of those things, a lot of that, you know, the things that's personal to other people, you know, being the celebrity status that he is, he has to ask for those questions. And he did a good job. You can definitely tell he was intense out there. He was ready to get it on right now. Media Day started with David Griffin, the GM of the Cavs, the architect of this new super team, and new head coach David Blatt, somebody who has no NBA experience at all, something that he mentioned will be a challenge for him. It is going to be a learning experience for him, but the thing that you like about him, Chris, he welcomes every single challenge. He's not running from expectations. He likes that there are high expectations. He does, and I like that the fact that, you know, I believe that he's transparent and telling you what he feels and some things that he's going to have to work on. He talked about, you know, how to use the time, you know, how to manage some of the guys properly. A lot of coaches, when they're at this level, they want to act like their stuff don't stink. Mm -hmm. So they, you know, but David Black, he seems like a genuine guy who's going to come off. It's just a, a human being, and that's good. I think that's going to bode well. That his personality, his persona is going to bode well for the city of Cleveland. How much do you think that's going to be a factor, Joe, coming into this season? These players don't know much about David Blatt. LeBron mentioned it back early in August. He had to find some YouTube clips to find out the offense that David Blatt ran because these guys don't know a lot about him. Yeah, I think the players will look to 23. I really do. I think they will look to see how LeBron reacts to the, to the coach, uh, and I think they will feed off him. I, I don't expect this to be a rough transition under Coach Blatt. I actually think this is going to work pretty well. Chris, most impressive player today at Media Day, I thought, was Sean Marion. That was me personally. It was the first time that we got a chance to talk to Marion. Who was the most impressive to you? I will have to go with Sean Marion. I, I believe he came off as the most candid individual telling you why he came here. If LeBron wasn't here, Cleveland wasn't an option. And then he talked about Kevin Love. That just took it over the top. Look, Sean Marion, um, you know, I definitely think Kyrie Irvin, um, the way he came off, it's saying that, you know, he's welcoming in this challenge. Mm -hmm. and he talked about playing off of the ball. He said, hey, I'll be ready to shoot every single time for LeBron has that ball, and I'll be, you know, the guy, you know, coming off the screen. So these guys are ready, but Kyrie, Sean Marion, a couple other guys, but those guys stand out in particular. Chris Kyrie said something during his press conference that just took me back, and I, I didn't believe it, and I had to look it up. He uh -huh. said that, you know, he's now the youngest guy on this team at this point, and I couldn't believe yeah. that, thinking about the things that he's accomplished already in his career. Two-time All-Star, he just won a gold medal playing at the FIBA World Cup of Basketball. Here's a guy who has accomplished so much already in his first three years in the NBA. He's now the youngster again. That's, and that's scary for the rest of the league because he's nowhere near reaching his prime. And I think he has another six years before he gets to that point. And so it's just going to be growth and maturation from this process on. And on the other side, he has LeBron James over there helping him. Can you just imagine that and think about the beast that this kid is going to be? It's going to be a scary sight. 2014 Cavs Media Day is done. Chris Fedor, Chris Haynes, Joe Varden. Joe, for you, the thing that LeBron uh, said today during his meeting with the media, spoke for about eight, 10 minutes, yeah. the thing that stood out to you the most. I just loved when he said that there, is, there isn't anything that he hasn't seen. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, he, he's, he's seen the league, he's been to the top of the mountain, um, and he's gonna bring all of that experience and all that that entails back to the Cavaliers. I mean, they need it. That goes without saying. It'll be exciting to watch. And Chris, for you, your biggest takeaway when you think back to 2014 Cavs Media Day, the thing that you'll remember the most? 
the intensity, the genuine intensity of everybody, all the players. You know, media day is usually a hunky dory. Hey, I'm happy to be here. Let's hang around, play around, get to know everybody media. But everybody was serious. They were like, this is the first step to reaching the, that championship goal. And they showed us today. Step number two, I guess, would be tomorrow. Training camp starts for the Cavs. They'll be right back here, Cleveland Clinic Courts, on the practice court. The first practice for head coach David Blatt in the NBA and for the new big three, Kevin Love, LeBron James, Kyrie Irving. We you, heard you, from you, them you all. Were, you weren't talking about us, the big three? No, not us, the big oh, three. I thought she was referring I, to us. I think we're the little three at this point, right? Yeah, speak, for you, speak for yourself. <laughs> okay, I'm usually the little guy, so <laughs> yes, I will. Yourself. Another guy that just towers over me. Thanks for uh, tuning in to all of our coverage throughout the day here on Cleveland.com slash Cavs. And we'll have more stuff in the evening and tomorrow morning as well as the Cavs on the practice court for the first time.